Attention, please. This upload is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G Petrol. G Petrol. Definitely a must see. Follow us. No calling out the audience, please, so they can concentrate. Here comes the next question. Starting with the largest, put these four countries in order by area. Starting with the largest, four countries in order, down to the smallest. Here they come. China, Thailand, Israel, India. Puzzle faces. Let's see. Starting with the largest down to the smallest. Four countries in order. Uh, largest, then. Largest, first of all. Uh, fairly obviously, that one's China. Then getting smaller, India. Then it's Thailand. And the smallest of the four is Israel. That's the right answer. Let's see who got that right. Then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right. Vic Manek in 9.5 seconds. Ready for this? Oh, How do you do it? Right. Come on. One million pounds, 15 questions. Right, sir. Okay, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> okay, have a look. Question number one for 100 pounds. What's an alternative name for a Stetson as worn by cowboys? Two bucket hat, six barrel hat. Ten gallon hat, one horse town hat. See, it's the right answer. You got a hundred pounds. <laughs> Have a look at the next question for two hundred quid. What's the name for a linesman in rugby? Touch base, touch judge, touch wood, touch type. Can I go fifty-fifty on this? You can. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Vic just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Touch base or touch judge? I'd say B. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> That's what lifelines are for. Otherwise, at this point, you would go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen to you. Vic, have a look at the next question. Question number three is worth £300. According to the poet Tennyson, what is it better to have done and lost than never to have done at all? Loved, gambled, owned a cat, <laughs> played in a cup final. It's loved. Loved. Yeah, loved. Loved is the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> Have a look at the next one. You've still got two lifelines. Take your time. This is worth £500. Which of these is a tree disease spread by beetles? German birch, French oak, Dutch elm, Belgian ash. It's a sea, Chris, uh, Dutch elm. Dutch elm's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> see if Rahini is smiling. Yeah, she's happy. OK, right, you've got 500 quid. Vic, take your time. This is the last point at which you could go home with nothing, but you've got two lifelines left. You've still got to phone a friend, and you've still got to ask the audience. It's worth 1,000 pounds. Here it comes. Which tradesman is sometimes known as a chippy? Electrician, plumber, builder, or carpenter? Let's say it's D, carpenter. It's the right answer. You've got a thousand pounds. Sigh of relief. You've got £2,000. Whatever happens, you leave here with at least that amount of money. It's always everybody's uh, first big milestone. You've still got two lifelines. You are ten questions away from one million. The next one's worth £2,000. Question number six. Have a look at it. Tell me if you want to play. Fork, sheet and ball are all types of what? Hammer, waterfall, glass, lightning. 
fork, sheet and ball are all types of what? Hammer, waterfall, glass or lightning? You can phone a friend, you can ask the audience. Um... Can I ask the audience? Yeah, OK. Audience, on your keypads, please. Um, try and get Vic up to £2,000. Fork, sheet and ball are all types of what? A on your keypads will be hammer. B is waterfall, C is glass, D is lightning. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 5% thinks a hammer. Uh, nobody thinks there's a fork, sheet or ball waterfall. 9% uh, go with glass, 86% are saying lightning. Well, I won't argue with them. I'll go with their <laughs> choice. <laughs> Uh, it's wrong. the lightning. 86% might be wrong. Are you going to go with them? Yes. Final answer? Yes. You did the right thing. It's worth £2,000. <laughs> Vic, you're hanging on. You're OK. You've still got £2,000. You've still got phone a friend. Next question's worth £4,000. Question number seven. Have a look at it. What's the name for the vestment worn by Christian clergy? So name for the vestment worn by Christian clergy? A tuffet, tussock, hassock, or cassock? It's worth four thousand pounds. I'd say cassock. D. Happy? Yeah. Final answer. You've got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Right, you've still got phone a friend. You've got £4,000. Money now getting a bit serious, the drop's quite steep. You would lose £3,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. Have a look. Question number eight is worth £8,000 to you. Here it comes. Which element is the chief constituent of bronze? Which element is the chief constituent of bronze? Tin, copper, lead, gold. You can phone a friend, uh, you can take 4,000. You can phone a friend and take 4,000. Which element is the chief constituent of bronze? Tin, copper, lead, gold. I'm about 80% plus, sure. Um, Which one? Thinking of A, tin. Tin? Can I phone a friend? You can, who can phone? Um, Dan. Dan? OK. Where's he? Where's uh, he? He's based in Finchley. OK. We'll give him a ring. 30 seconds. It's worth £8,000. You don't have to play it. You can take his answer and still walk away with the money. It's entirely your call. Hello? Dan? Yep? Hello. It's, uh, it's Chris Tarrandon, who wants to be a millionaire. How do you say my dog? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, well, it's your moment of fame. It's a serious moment of fame. I've got Vic here, Vic Manick. He's on £4,000. With your help, Dan, we'd like to get him up to £8,000, please, at least. OK. OK, right. The next voice here will be Vic's. Yep. Uh, he'll tell you the question of four possible answers. One of them's the right answer. It's worth £8,000. OK. <coughs> OK. All right, Dan. Vic, your time starts now. Hi, right, Dan. Evening, Vic. The question is, which element is the chief constituent of bronze? A. Tin. B. Copper. C. Lead. D. Gold. What was I again, Vic? Tin. Tin? As in tin tin, yeah. Um... You're thinking of tin as I am. <coughs> that played out. Mm, run out of time, sorry. It's OK. <coughs> As they, say, as they say, I came with nothing. I'll take a chance on my hand chance at ten. Don't have to play. It's up to you. No, I'll take. I, I'll do that. Final answer. Final answer. What are you saying to me? Ten. A ten. Final answer. 
You came with nothing. You got to a thousand pounds. You've now got to four thousand pounds. Vic, you've just lost three thousand pounds. The right answer, I can tell you, actually, is copper. Yeah, never crossed my mind. Yeah, I'm afraid. You still go away with £1,000. Give him a big hand. Vic goes on his way back to Middlesex with £1,000. Well done, the night.